We're back for yet another Dab Talk, our YouTube series that dives into what's next. In each episode, we join members of the Hedera Hashgraph community to talk about what they're working on. In this week's episode, I'm with Hashing Systems, a Texas startup with Texas-sized ambitions. I'm joined with our founder, Pablo Pilar. We're, we're excited to hear more about what Hashing Systems is doing. Um, you guys are one of the more interesting, I think, projects in the space and going to enable a ton of developers to start building on Hedera. Um, can you talk a little bit about what your vision is for Hashing Systems? So uh, our vision uh, with Hashing Systems, we're, we're a uh, development studio bringing out solutions that expose the best qualities of uh, their hash graph to developers. These can be easy to use APIs or elements that enhance standardization and interoperability among smart contracts. And uh, there's quite a few different incentive structures within the, the fee model on Hashgraph. And it allows us to validate transactions, process transactions, and create uh, applications that hold people's funds and basically uh, stake those. So we're encouraged to generate value to get people on the platform so that we can generate more value with it. Interesting. Okay, cool. Um, so is it fair to say that you're taking kind of the complexities of, you know, working with this distributed ledger and kind of packaging it up in a way that makes it just more accessible? Definitely. Yeah. So we look at the things that take up the most time. It's kind of like uh, you're building your, the, the same bridge you're going to be uh, using uh, for a while later. So some applications like micropayment servers, or APIs that we build on front end. Um, these are things that are kind of required for further solutions that we want to bring out later. So we're building them and we're releasing them to the public so that everyone else can use them and build better applications because we don't want to be the only kids on the block. But you guys have done so much good work with Medium. I think you, you put out a couple articles that I really liked about each of the network services. It seems like building that Hedera community up is really important to you guys. Can you share a little bit more about what you're doing there? Yeah, so we like... We, we work with the Hedera community building you know, educational resources. Uh, we realized very early on in the Helix program how we needed to come to a consensus about how things are different within Hashgraph. Mm. Uh, it started with like talks about what if we could do color tokens and kind of off the way that you do at ERC-20s. Mm -hmm. uh, looking at the different incentive models, mainly how fees are structured that make, uh, well, they make development way different than uh, your typical Ethereum contract. And that's why we posted a repo uh, for Hashgraph uh, proposal tracking. We call it HIPS. It's a hash improvement proposal. And the flow is very similar to Bitcoin improvement proposals, as well as Ethereum improvement proposals. Now, most people are very familiar with ERCs, ERC20 being like the very popular one. Mm -hmm. But what most people don't know is that ERCs are a subset of EIPs. And ERC-20 is just the 20th Ethereum improvement proposal ever written. And we believe because of the, uh, because of the you know, you see ERC-20 being like this big thing, it, it was just a few guys talking about how you should tokenize on Ethereum. Sure. Now, if we, don't, if we have everyone working in Hashgraph in the lab without sharing these findings, we are never able to fact check them or even build interoperable solutions. If your token in... Uh, basically uses the ERC standard. Now you're, anyone else is able to build on top of that token without having to ever meet you. So we believe it's extremely important to share our findings with our community. Uh, for one, we want to make our points battle-proof. So putting them out there for anyone to comment, criticize, or expand allows us to come to a collective consensus. We don't want to be locked up in a lab chamber. That's why we have people writing about Hashgraph on a weekly basis. That's awesome. And uh, I'm sure we'll see plenty more go to that and, and work that way into our workflow. Um, that's exciting stuff. And so one of the things that you guys are actually doing as well is not just growing the community uh, in terms of educational content, but it seems like you're making it more approachable with things like the hash name service. Could you talk a little bit about what you're doing there? Yeah. So uh, one of the biggest challenges we face in order to gain uh, mainstream adoption is ease of use. All we have to work from is a random segment of letters and numbers that you have to copy paste every time you want to make a transfer. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit like an address book. But HNS is short for hashing service, and it is a solution being built on top uh, to address this problem. And HNS is a hashgraph based DAP built on smart contracts to give things human readable names. So HNS will be able to return values for a variety of things within hashgraph. 
apart from allowing username-based payments, file IDs so that users can easily browse and access files, as well as identifiers and other smart contracts. Anyone will be able to register a name for themselves, provided they have a wallet and a Chrome extension set up. At the end of the day, we'll basically charge a small fee to cover the cost of storing the record uh, for a small period of time. Um, we're planning to do this uh, yearly, but will vary depending on how fees fluctuate. In a sense, uh, we have very similar goals to uh, domain name services running on the internet, but we have a vastly different architecture. That's pretty cool and pretty powerful. Um, and so if I'm understanding correctly, it would be the, the use of a developer that's trying to build out a system could benefit by you know, deploying their smart contract here and assigning it to a uh, h and uh, address versus a end user could you know, have my username at Garrig, for instance, be the way that you transfer uh, HBARs. Is that accurate? Uh, yes, definitely. And it could even be someone building uh, their own Venmo solution, Venmo type solution using these usernames. So Got it. There's a, a variety of things like a global username within Hashgraph rather than each smart contract having a username. Today we opened up a, a wait list. It's on hns.domains. And this waitlist is to basically reserve a domain that you might be interested in that we'll be able to purchase and we'll send out an email closer to open access so that users are able to uh, basically reserve their domains using HBAR. Mind That's it. pretty cool. Um, and I've already got mine reserved. Is the vision there, uh, someone would be able to incorporate that functionality into like a Hedera open source wallet uh, and start to use those? Hopefully, uh, they're an open source wallet. Uh, we're hoping to do a bit more on the Chrome extension side. So add another Chrome extension, maybe, or even integrate this functionality of file resolving inside Chrome. So now you are able to resolve uh, websites and other files directly on Google Chrome uh, on the address bar rather than any other clunky functionality. You build it into the users, the users will use it because it's easy. Yeah, interesting. That's cool. Um, definitely can go a long way in making it a little bit more accessible for and so what, um, you know, kind of brought you into the mix with Hedera initially? What caught your eye there? Well, Hedera is a very interesting platform. There's three main things that uh, really make it uh, stand out. Uh, the nimble consensus algorithm that allows for large-scale transactions. That's something that you don't see a lot. You know, Ethereum has been talking. There's been so many different ways that they plan on scaling. But the problem with a lot of these layer two solutions is they don't talk to each other. Mm -hmm. So if you open up a channel with someone, the funds are locked in that channel. So I don't know how many people are comfortable buying gift cards all the time for everyone, but that's what it ultimately feels like with uh, opening up a channel with a coffee shop. You have to hold the money there until you close the channel and then you can get it back. Mm -hmm. And now because Hashgraph already has so much it's so efficient mm -hmm. in their algorithm that we don't require having a lot of these layer two solutions. I mean, we've seen what's happening with Bitcoin and all the, uh, the drama there. It's not something that we want to get into, especially early on. And that's where governance is key. Uh, there won't be a single point of contact pushing their personal agenda. And it will basically be a group of people setting uh, at the diverse opinion multiple companies to encourage a well-rounded network. And then we bring it back, and it's the fee incentive that really brings us all in. Um, it rewards all levels of the network, which encourages everyone to generate value. Unlike Ethereum, you know, there's uh, someone who's paying for basically uh, APIs, hmm. and it's subsidizing it for years. And yes, it works for now, but it opens up a, a central point of failure. If Infura, for example, in Ethereum goes down, a lot of applications will suffer, and there's not much recourse other than trying to set up a, your own node, but most people are not used to doing that. They just want to set something up and forget it. So uh, for us, I mean, it, it also means that teams do not require a large amount of capital to build large systems as they can rely on fees early on as they're generated from their contracts. Absolutely. Um, so tell us a little bit about what people can expect from hashing systems and, and how they can stay in touch. I would call everyone to uh, go to hns.domains and um, sign up on the wait list. And make sure you uh, grab your favorite domain before uh, someone else picks it.
<laughs> they will. Uh, well, thank you so much, Pablo. We appreciate it. And we'll check back in with you guys soon.